Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a look at myself in a while, so I felt like it was time. So today's focus is going to be on glowing skin and an easy eyeliner application. This look is definitely a modern femme fatale vibe that I've been wanting to do, so I hope you enjoy it. For skin prep, I'm gonna be starting off with one of my go-tos, Giorgio Armani Glow On Moisturizing Cream. There's something about this product just smells so good. It has such a light, dreamy scent to it that never gets old to me. And it's great to use underneath your makeup because it doesn't weigh the skin down throughout the day. It keeps the skin nice and hydrated, but it doesn't make the skin oily. I'm just really working this all over my face, eyelids, and forehead. And also down to the neck as well. Oh, it just smells so good. I seriously cannot get enough of this moisturizer. Addicted, clearly. <laughs> so next up, I'll be using my Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. I'm gonna do about two pea sizes of this product. And I'm gonna start off by working this into my T-zone, really pushing this in where my pores are more visible around the sides of the nose and then bringing it down the bridge of the nose and up to the forehead and also around the mouth as well. It's truly one of my favorites because it keeps the skin nice and hydrated and it doesn't ball up on the skin. You know what I'm talking about. There's so many primers that after you put them on and then you go to put foundation, it starts to ball up on the skin. I don't have that problem with this primer. I love how radiant it looks. The glow really shines through the makeup, but it still keeps the skin looking a natural matte where it needs to. To prep my lips, I'll be using my Buxom Cosmetics Big O Lip Balm. Love to let this sit on the lips while I'm working on my skin. So by the time we come back to the lips, they're nice and prepped. And you know, you guys hear me say that all the time. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my go-to Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'll be using the shade 7.5. My body's a bit more tan than my face, so that's why I'm gonna go a little bit darker. And then I'm also going to mix it in with my Fluid Sheer by Armani as well. And this is in the shade two. So I'm gonna mix these up and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just mixing it up right on this palette. And basically what that does is it's gonna give me an all over radiant glow. In some of my previous videos, you've probably seen me use it right before I do the foundation, but today I wanna to do a little bit different and I wanted to mix it in. So that way we have even more glow from the Luminous Silk Foundation. These two are a perfect power couple together. I really love the size of this foundation brush by Armani. It goes perfectly with the foundation. It's really easy to use around those harder to reach areas. I'm able to get around the brows, around the sides of the nose, the lips, and it really evenly distributes the product perfectly. I'm basically just going back and forth like this. In areas where you need a little bit more coverage, you can go in and stipple the brush. I feel like I'm always doing a combination of both just to make the skin look nice and seamless. I honestly remember saving up my money to purchase Armani Luminous Silk Foundation when I started off as a celebrity makeup artist. I felt like I had to have this foundation in my kit, so I remember only buying a few shades and I would always mix to make the perfect shade for my clients. And I think that's a great option too if you're a makeup artist just starting out, but you wanna have a nice foundation in your kit that works well on all ethnicities, all different skin types, people with skin conditions. I mean, this really is a great foundation to start with. And you only need a few shades and you can always mix. One thing I love about this foundation that I've always really gravitated towards is that it really adapts to all skin types. I mean, I've used this on women that are really young to more mature skin, and it just looks beautiful every time. You can never go wrong with Luminous Silk. It truly is iconic. It comes in 40 shades, so there's something for everyone. And not only that, but you can wear it really lightweight. You can build it up to medium coverage if you like. So you can really wear it any way that you please. And I know what some of you are thinking, that it's all hype. I gotta tell you, that's wrong. Promise you, that's wrong, it is not all hype. This is truly one of the most iconic foundations that I've ever used, and it never fails me. To shade and contour my skin, I'm gonna be using my Luminous Silk Concealer by Armani, and you know, this blends like a dream. And I'm gonna use it directly on my skin just to show you how easy you can use this to contour. So we'll start off on the forehead. I'm gonna make a few lines here. You guys know I love to contour my forehead. There's a lot of real estate happening here. We need to shade it. <laughs> I like to use the top of my ear as a guide just to start my contour. It is a bit higher. Some people may like a lower contour. I personally think it drags my face down and by doing this technique, it really lifts my face up. 
right underneath the jaw. Normally I would never go in and create these lines on the face with a product because I feel like you're indenting your foundation that way, but that's not the case with this product. You can actually leave it there for a little bit. It's so hydrating on the skin that that won't happen and it won't indent the foundation. I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush, the same one that I was using, and I'm gonna start blending out my jawline. So I'm blending right underneath, and then I'm also gonna bring this in a downward direction just to make sure that the neck and the jaw look seamless. I'm also gonna blend upward as well, just to blend this out. I'm gonna start blending out my forehead, and I'm basically just making sure that this is blended into the hairline. If you have blonde hair, you definitely wanna be really careful of the hairline and blend really softly. Just a little update on my mirrors. I'm still working on this project and as soon as they're ready, you guys will be first to know, I promise. Now, when you're blending out the contour on the cheeks, you wanna be really mindful of your placement when using the brush. So I'm basically blending this in an upward direction. You don't wanna blend it downward. You wanna make sure that everything is just kind of going up, up, up. And just a little tip, if you ever bring it too low, you can go in with your Luminous Silk foundation with the brush and just basically slice off any area that you don't want. Any area that's like dragging down too much. And it just kind of softens up the cheeks a bit. Okay, I'm really curious to know if you guys prefer when I do makeup on models on my channel or makeup on myself. Comment down below, I really wanna know what you think. And then just to blend out the nose using the same brush and I'm bringing it in a downward direction. And then I'm also contouring the inner corner of my eyes, bringing it into the eyebrows. You definitely wanna make sure that you don't bring the contour anywhere in this area here. So be really careful when blending this out. And I always like to use what's left over on my eyelids. Oh, so far I'm feeling bronzy, hydrated, glowy, just everything that I'm always looking for in skin. For concealer, I'm also gonna be using my Luminous Silk Concealer, this time in the shade 5.75. So again, really hydrating formula on the skin, which is great to use under the eye area because I noticed that a lot of people have dryness under the eyes at times and it can look cakey and it can crack underneath the eye area. That is not the case with this concealer. It also has 24 hour wear, so you're really getting that moisture. It also contains caffeine, vitamin E, and glycerin. And of course the caffeine underneath the eyes is amazing because in the mornings, it's really gonna wake your eyes up from having that morning puffiness. And the glycerin's really hydrating and soothing on the skin. And of course the vitamin E is soothing as well. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Imagine if I just walked out like this, I'll like a cat. To blend this out, I'm gonna be using my Armani Concealer Brush. Such a great brush to use around the lips, around the nose. It just makes it so seamless because it's the same kind of fibers as the foundation brush. And a little does go a long way with this concealer, I will say. I'm gonna bring this in an upward direction just to lift my eyes. And I'm also dragging this on top of the contour just to bring back some light onto the skin. Ooh, and that is looking gorgeous. Just love the overall finish of using all of these products together. It really is magic. And then to blend out the forehead, I'm bringing this right on top of the brows just to bring back some light right here. And again, that's what's so great about this brush is that it's not a huge brush that I'm using. It's a great size, so I can just get around those hard to reach areas. And that way, I'm also not bringing this all the way on top of the contour. You wanna make sure that you kind of just blend into it, but don't completely go over it. I feel like knowing how to do your skin right is really important, and if you can do that, everything else looks good, I promise. So I hope you guys find these tips really helpful. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna be going in with my Milk Translucent Powder in the shade Light and using a blush brush from Armani to do so. So just bringing this right underneath the lashes, and of course, in the center of the forehead, above the brows. I'm gonna bring this on top of the brows as well so they don't look shiny, and just lightly pat this in. I don't wanna do too much powder because we're about to use the most epic, iconic powder to set the rest of my face with. 
To set my contour, I'm gonna be going in with my Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder. Now you can actually wear this product on its own or you can use it on top of your foundation to set the skin to really extend the glow or you can use it to set your contour. There's so many ways that you can use it and I'm gonna show you. For contour, I'm also obsessed with this brush by Armani. It just works like a dream and it makes it so easy to blend out the product. And you can really see that glow starting to peek through. And I just want you guys to see what this looks like. It has such a nice glowy luminous finish to it. It's so beautiful on the skin. Ugh. What's really cool about this product is that it has this blurring effect built into it. So if you have any texture on the skin or anything that you're insecure about, I feel like it really helps to camouflage it. And normally powders would kind of accentuate texture, but not in this case. And the brush makes it so easy to use. So I'm just basically twisting my wrist and bringing this into like a C shape. I'm also gonna sculpt the jawline as well and then bringing this in a downward direction. I swear you can do the fastest contour with this brush. Watch this on the nose. Just up and around. And then right underneath the tip just to lift it up. And then same thing on this side. It's the glow for me, you know? just never gets old. Okay, so under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the number two shade. So it's definitely a lot lighter. Using my Armani blush brush, I'm just gonna sweep right on top. Just for a little highlight action. And also lightly bring this in the center of the forehead. I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera and honestly nothing's changed. But if you're curious on how I do my brows, make sure to check out my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial video. To line my lower lash line, I'm going in with my Armani Smooth Silk Eye Pencil. This is in the shade number six. It's a really stunning emerald green eyeliner that I recently fell in love with and I had to share it with you. So this is gonna be a really easy top wing liner moment and I'm excited for you guys to learn because it's so easy, really simple, but first off I wanna start off by just smoking out my lower lash line. So I'm really building this up and then I'm also going to apply it in the waterline as well. Just making sure that there's no gaps between my waterline and also my lashes. You know there's nothing worse than that when you see like a little gap. So I like to make sure that I just really work this in. And then on the bottom, it has this little smudger tool that you can go in and use. And I do actually use this. It's just, this is just like a different take on doing a liner, you know? It's kind of like a pop of color, but it's a jewel tone. So it's a lot easier to use in like a neon color if you're kind of scared to venture out into color. It's nice to start off with tones that are like burgundy or navy or emerald that are a little bit darker, closer to black or brown. Honestly, love that already. So when you get to the outer corner, you wanna lift this up and it doesn't need to be perfect, just as close to perfect as you can get it. Cause we were kind of going for like a smudgier lower lash line and we'll clean this up when I show you how to do the top. On my eyelid, I'm gonna be using my eye tint by Armani in the shade eight. Now this is a really interesting color. I feel like whenever I apply this, I see kind of like a violet silvery hue to it, which is really beautiful. And I feel like for some odd reason, it goes really well with the green lighter that I'm gonna do. It's just different. And I just find these two tones together to be really interesting. I'm also in love with the applicator because it's kind of in the shape of like a tear or a triangle, which makes it really easy to use for eyeliner, which we're gonna do. And for right now, I'm just kind of bringing this along the lash line and then bringing this in an upward direction, rounding this out in the inner corner. Now these are water pigments, so they blend on the eyes so smoothly and you can't feel it at all. It is extremely weightless. And notice I'm doing my eyeshadow last. I mean, I could do it first, I could do it last. I could really do it whenever because there's no fallout. So that is truly the best part about this. And then just to softly blend out the edges, I'm using my Armani blending brush. This one's great to use on the eyes. Sometimes I even contour the nose with it. I just like how it has this like contoured edge to it. So I basically just wanted a light glowy eyelid. Now these are smudge proof and it has a 16 hour wear. So you don't have to worry about it fading throughout the day or smudging. You know that when you use the eye tints, they're long lasting. Now for the top eyeliner, I'm gonna be using another eye tint in the shade 37. We'll top it off with another emerald green tone. 
Now, we're really gonna be utilizing the tip to do this eyeliner. So, starting from the outer corner of my eye, I'm gonna be really mindful about the placement. I wanna make sure that this is going from thick to thin, so that way it really opens up the eyes, but we keep it in a catty shape. So I'm actually going to extend the wing last. So I kinda of like to start off in like little portions, like I'll do the outer corner and then little by little I'll bring it in. And whenever you get to the inner corner of the eye, right now I'm kind of in the middle, you basically just wanna like press and stamp it all the way down. Keep it as close to the lashes as possible I'm basically right on top of the lashes. And whenever I get into the inner corner, like very tight in the inner corner, I kind of leave my eyes a little bit open so I can really see what I'm doing. Really carefully, you just wanna stamp this area. Okay, last but not least, we need to extend this wing. So I saved it for last. So that way you can just focus on really creating a straight line first on the lid and then pull out the wing at the very end. And what's great is that we've already kind of created a guide by smoking out the bottom first. Whenever I do my own makeup, which I think will be really useful to you guys at home when you're doing your own makeup, is to tilt your head back a little bit so you can really see what you're doing because we basically want this to be kind of a straight line. It can have a little bend to it, which I think is nice, but the straighter the better because it just gives you like that really slanted angled eye look. So I'm just dragging this out and using what we've already placed as a guide. Just like that. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, you can definitely clean it up with Q-tips, but I kind of like it to be a little bit thicker for this look. I'm also gonna use what's left over and wrap it around just to really intensify. And then using another Armani brush, just to smudge a little bit. And again, no fallout, that's the best part. And if you were to do this with an eyeshadow, you probably have fallout. So it's really great to use these eye tents because you never have to worry about that and you get that all day wear. What's not to love? So I kind of want to add a little bronzy blush moment to this look. So I'm going to be using my Tower 28 Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade West Coast. Sometimes I just like to apply this as a blush. And I'm just going to go in with my fingers and just pat this in. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. Now, if you want high impact lashes, you have to try Eyes to Kill, because that's exactly what you get every time with this mascara. I feel like it really easily lengthens the lashes to where you don't even really need fake eyelashes. And it doesn't clump either. You, you won't get like a chunky spider lash from this mascara. You'll get really soft, wispy, long, flexible lashes. It's definitely a mascara that I can count on in my makeup kit. It's been a staple for years and it also doesn't flake. I feel like that's really important to me because you know, you do your client's makeup or you do your own and then you don't wanna look in the mirror hours later and see flakiness underneath your eyes. That's not cute, but I never have that problem with this mascara. Always a winner. Okay, I just feel like I needed to show you this. Look how long it makes my bottom lashes. It's incredible. It's definitely a must try mascara. To line my lips, I'm gonna be using my Smooth Silk Lip Pencil in the shade two. It's a really beautiful neutral nude, but also on the warmer side, which is nice because it gives a little bit of color to this look. I'm just gonna start off by overdrawing my lips just a bit. And when I get to the center of my lips, I'm gonna lightly overdraw the Cupid's bow, keeping the shape of the Cupid's bow, but bringing it a bit higher just to lift my lips a little bit up. I'm also gonna shade in the corners with a slip liner because I really want that all day wear. And by doing so, I know that this lip will not go anywhere. The texture really just glides onto the lips. It's very creamy, easy to use, and you'll fall in love with these liners. I mean, I do every time. To top it off, I'm gonna be going in with my Lip Maestro by Armani in the shade 100. I'm really into this color right now because it's a nude, but it's on the warmer side, it matches the lip liner, and it has such a nice cushion pillowy feel to it. Whenever you press your lips together, it just feels so good and soft on the lips every time. I'm gonna just dab it in the center and then use my finger to just blend it out. And these have a great long wear to them as well. I also can't stand when liquid lipsticks are sticky. I'm so over that feeling. And this one's nice and pillowy and soft and non-sticky. It's so easy to blend out. 
I feel cute. So this is the look. I'm in love with it. I haven't done a colored eyeliner in quite some time and I love that it's subtle colored eyeliner too. It's my favorite part about this look and the glow, of course. So that completes today's makeup look. Let me know in the comments what you think of this look and I'll definitely be back soon to help you guys up your makeup game. In the meantime, I would really appreciate it if you guys liked this video and subscribed to my channel so that way you can get notified on future videos and I'll see you soon. <laughs> what primer I use on my skin, so I'm gonna be so next up, I'll be using my Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Yeah, we don't need to use that part where I'm like, <laughs> I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. You have to be able to love the process and be present and realize you are not in control of what people say or think. What I put in, that's the value, not the validation.